But I thought it was a slap in the face for everybody in the country. Hello, welcome back to Jungle Confidential, the male's podcast and your place to hear all of the I'm a Celeb gossip. Today, I'm joined by 2011 contestant Chrissy Rock. Morning, Chrissy. Last night, we saw Chris Moyles go. Oh, Chris yeah. Moyles got evicted. Um, now, I was delighted. I mean, I couldn't stand him. Do you feel like he's, um, you know, somebody that perhaps should have gone a bit sooner? Maybe, because they're all a little bit two-faced, aren't they? <laughs> Do you think? And it's coming across. Do you think it is? Yeah, 100%. Wow, OK. Because they're talking to people. Hello, how are you, my friend? And then five minutes later, they're walking off and calling them fit to be in. Yeah, I mean, was it like that when you were on there? Obviously, you back in 2000, gosh, that's 11 years ago now. Well, the only person I stayed in touch with and I'm still in touch with today is Fatima Whipled. Oh. We were like, we were like our little in-betweeners. We didn't fit in either clique. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you fit in the clique? Well, the others were too young. Hmm. And the others... It's like everybody who goes in there except Fatima and me, were in there because they wanted the airtime, they wanted to win. They were like, you know, like I'd get wood and it's not enough, too much. And in the end, I just threw it and said, get it yourself. See, last night we saw Chris Moores go. And when he left, he was, he was really, really quite peeved that he went before Matt Hancock. Um, he was quite surprised that he was uh, less popular than Matt Hancock. Um, what did you make of the whole Matt Hancock situation and, and him going in? Personally, I'm not into politics, right? Mm. And, um, but I think, or I thought, it was a slap in the face for everybody in the country when he went in. Mm. Mm. And the way it's going... He could actually win. Yeah. Because he's done all the trials, you know, and he's sucking all on the chin. And, you know, it's, it's under nobody's belly, the bucket in the back of his head. But at the end of the day, you know, if, if I was in there with him, I'd just say, look, I really don't want to speak to you because I wouldn't be too faced about it. You know, I, I'm not. What happened when everybody was dying on their own? And that, that's the horriblest bit of it. And to put him in that head spotlight, it, it was a slap in the face for everybody in the country who'd lost people, lost jobs, lost their homes while they were all partying. Mm. You know, and even his own government doesn't, his own parliament doesn't want him in there. Chrissy, like money... Is, is always perhaps a driver to get these people on, isn't it? And the money does seem to have gone up hugely in the, la in the last few years. I mean, it's insane. I mean, I know when you were, when you were on it, the, the money wasn't that big at all, was it? No, it, was, it wasn't. But you see, I went in. When I went in, I didn't feel I had anything to prove because to me, getting in there, I'd already won without mm. winning. I didn't go in to win. I'm more of a foot soldier than a competitor. Mm, mm. So I just enjoyed the ride. So, so it was like that. So obviously, but I think last night when Chris left, he did say to Matt Hancock, thanks for the stars, thanks for the food. Now, when, when, in the jungle, when you're in there, if somebody is bringing back food and stars, do I mean... Do, do is that a really big sort of oh you're great? Do, do you sort of forgive people things because they bring the food? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so it wouldn't make you like somebody any more just because they did well in the Bush Tucker trials and they brought back food. No, it's just like you know, your auntie who you don't particularly like has gone to Asda and come back with a few bits, and you're like, oh, oh. you know. <laughs> Obviously, Mike Tyndall is in there. Um, yeah. And I mean, last night he was talking to us about telling us what it's like to stay at Buckingham Palace and how you, you know, you, in the morning you can go down in your jeans and a t-shirt. I mean, we we keep going on about Matt Hancock and why he shouldn't be in there. Do you think it's a, appropriate that a royal family member should be 
allowed to take part? Not really, because, you know... Next year, it could be Megan and Han. Well, yeah, I mean, it could be. I mean, what do you, I mean, what do you make? Obviously, I, look, I know Mike and Zara are um, are um, slightly, you know, removed from the royal family in terms of they're not working royals. But, I mean, do you feel like it is taking advantage of his of his sort of family situation? It's, it's to, maybe it's to have an insight on how their life is. Because, as you say, they're not working royals, but mm. they are related to the royal family. And when they go to say what it was like, you know, you, you don't know. But it's in his own right, he was a rugby player, wasn't he? Mm. So really, if you look at him as the rugby player he was, instead of being married to Zara Phillips, maybe that makes it a bit more of a cushion for him. Oh. Now, there keeps the creek. Was the creek there when you were on I'm a Celebrity? That's the water, isn't it? Yes, yes. You, you, that's where you swim and you get water. So, See, everything you get, even if they have a wash in there, the soap is biodegradable, the shampoo is biodegradable, the toothpaste is bio... Everything is... If it goes in the water, it's, it doesn't contaminate it. Oh, right. So they really think of that. Um, the beans taste like cashew nuts. The beans? Do they? Yeah. Oh, the really, and the rice is like not fluffy rice you get in a in a restaurant. It's sloppy and got no salt in it. So in terms of the food, obviously rice and beans they have that every day, do they? Regardless, you have rice and beans. Yeah, that was your breakfast. You have rice and beans for breakfast. Yeah. Mm. So if there was no food left, but there was never any food left. Oh, you know. dear me, dear me. So the creek at the moment seems to be the place where the celebrities are going. Um, and yeah. there's lots of, that's where they sort of make, they're, they're sort of making their confessions. And Anton Deck keeps saying, you know, we should perhaps move the camp down here. Was it yeah. somewhere where you would go and sort of hang out when you were, when you were on the show? Me, Fatima and me used to sit on the, um, the pagoda thing on the top. Oh, yeah, these, did you? Yeah, we used to sit there, and um, she taught me. We, we we made time, you know. She got a stick, and we pretend to play golf with a little stone and that. So she kept. She was a very good moral supporter, you know. She kept you, you going. In 2011, when you were there, there were a couple yeah. of um, female celebrities who yeah. did take part in the shower scenes, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, so we yeah. had Emily Scott and Je Jessica Jane Clement. I mean, they went out yeah. fairly early. Now, women are, obviously, this year we have had a problem with women going out early, but why do you think those women went out early when you were in the jungle? I don't really know, because they were, like, always in the little totty gear and look at me and getting the men to pedal the bike so they could have a shower. So I don't know. They had clothes on, you know, when they had a shower. But maybe people are looking for real people and not someone who's, who's like that. So this year, obviously, three women got voted off first. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, Charlene White, Scarlett Douglas and Sue Cleaver, two yeah. of them obviously black women. Why do you think that could have been? Do you think they just didn't pull the weight or, you know, maybe they wanted them out to see what the others could do. I mean, there's now just one woman left, isn't there? Jill Scott is the only woman left. I mean, do you think that there's an element of sexism going on there? I'd love her to win. Yeah, so would I. So would I. I'd love her to win because too. When she done that first trial and just walked along that plank like she was crossing the road on the zebra crossing, the power in her legs and no fear. She's been lovely. From what bits I've seen... Mm. She deserves mm. to win. Mm. Yeah, she I mean, nothing her. No, and and is that? She, I mean, from I mean, she's kind of a sort of perfect campmate, really, because as you say, you know, that day when she just walked out there and Baba Tunde completely wimped out, oh, didn't no. he? Um, I, I kind of feel like, um, yeah, she's she's brave, isn't she? She's funny. Yeah, you know, she gets stuck in, and and I, I mean, when you were there, was it the people that got stuck in who? 
um, kind of w- were liked, you know, or was it people that go, oh, I'm not doing that, you know, who, yeah. who, who, are, who are not? I know, if you, if you get stuck in. See, the thing that was hard for me is I had no teeth, so it was hard for me to eat things. And when I was in the, the coffin, the glass coffin, all night with all the cockroaches and spiders, that didn't bother me. But I, I had to, if I had to, I known then what I know now, another 10 minutes and I would have completed the trial. But I had cramp in my leg, my shoulder had through, so, so I just said, oh, I want to get out. But we've been in there like nine, ten hours. Because in life, a lot of those people in there at the moment um, yeah. will have people to, to do everything for them. And all of a sudden, you're just like everybody else, aren't you? You, you strip there. Like, I read um, that when Boy George came out of the jungle, he wanted to go straight home. And they've gone, no, you stay here till the end. So it's like, well, do you, you know... I hate it when someone goes, do you know who I am? You think, why don't you know who you are yourself? Yeah, indeed. I mean, I mean, boy George is interesting, isn't he? Because he was paid £500,000 to go in there. I mean, what is going on with these inflated um, inflated amounts of money that are being paid to these people? I mean, it's 10 days' work, isn't it? Yeah. Well, a bit more, maybe. 20 days' we work. Never, we never got... Not like that. What 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 were people earning in two thousand and eleven? To go I in? don't really know. I don't really know what they were earning. You get whatever you get, you'd have to pay half of your wages back to the Australian government. Oh, do so, you? Yeah. So I got twenty eight thousand. Yeah. But I only walked away with fourteen thousand because, but that was a lot of money to me back then. Yeah. I think it is great. You know, it's just obscene. Mm. You know, when people are struggling to pay the lechi and, and things like that. It's just... I mean, I'm, I'm talking out of ten there because he's doing the job, but look at those nurses. Who, do you, who would you really want to see in the final this year because as we said earlier it's very much looking like Matt Hancock could make it to the final I'm not sure he'll win but I definitely think he's yeah. going to make it through to the final I think yeah. I think he will who do you think will be there Owen was funny oh but I love I Owen he's, he was like an airhead do you know what I mean he was and people was skitting him a bit you know because calling him a, but he's not he's, he's just like a, a gentle soul isn't he I like him. So I like him and I'd like Jill. And I think I booted the telly of my son. <laughs> but I've noticed this actually, and I've spoken to spoken to a few other celebrities about this. Now, when you were there, you you did some more horrible things, didn't you? You know, you you had you obviously as you said earlier, you were in a you were in a, a glass box coffin. for a coffin for nine to ten hours. Yeah. We haven't seen anything like that this year, have we? It no. doesn't seem to be as hard. These challenges seem to be a lot easier. Yeah. Um, we, me and Willie Carson had to get in this glass, like, fish tank, and then um, green ants poured on top of our feet. Um, we were, like, river dancing. <laughs> it was like being electrocuted with a stun gun. And I was going, oh. And then we had our eyes... Thing and we had to soak this thing, and I said, I think it's a handbag, and it was a crocodile, a baby one, but its mouth was taped up, so it couldn't bite us. Oh, OK, that's a relief, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, did, did you, um, you know, do you think, I mean, th- th- all we, we haven't really seen, we have seen cockroaches and we have seen some pretty unpleasant yeah. insects, and they have had to eat and drink some pretty unpleasant things, but yeah. nowhere near... You know, the witchetty grub that you were eating, you know, yeah. you had some real horrible things, didn't you, that you had to And eat. then you had to bite it, and then it was all, like, gunge out in your mouth. It was horrible. Um, well, now, obviously, we're coming up to the end now. What happens? So you've been, you so, like, so obviously you were, when you were voted out the jungle, Yeah. what what happens that now? What would hap- What happened from then until you left Australia? What's the process? Well, they all go to the Versace Hotel, which is completely like Disneyland. You just, but it's all uncomfortably posh. Mm. You know, it's like 
you've got like a wall of pillars and you put your head in them and you just go through them lot. And then <laughs> if you want to go sit around the pool on one of those beds with the thing, you've got to pay. Well, they, well, they're not staying at the Versace Hotel this year. They've gone somewhere else. So so you're well, at the I hotel. Think. You're at the hotel. And what, what do you do then? Just sort of relax for a few days until the final? Well, yeah. You, you, you've got... When you first go in, you have a mind, then you can't go out. So right. they stay with you 24 hours. So nobody knows who's coming in mm-hmm. and nobody can take a picture. And then when you come out, you just went to the Versace Hotel. And then when the last person comes out, they have a little party in the night with everybody there. And then the next morning, they're all shipped out on the airplanes. Oh, really? Oh, wow, OK. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Oh, well, they've got something to look forward to then when they come out, haven't they? Well, look, yeah. fingers crossed for Jill Scott then. I think we both I think we both agree that we want her to win. Or Owen. Or Owen. Owen. Well, yeah, can we just quickly talk about Owen? Because I didn't know who Owen was, and I just think Owen is lovely, isn't he? I mean, yeah. now, obviously, I don't think the great British public particularly knew who Owen was either. Um, no, he's in Hollyoaks, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's in Hollyoaks, and... And why do you think he? Why do you think people are voting for him to stay in? I mean, he is so fit, isn't he? I mean, he's so lovely to look at. Yeah, he, he is a pretty boy, beautiful looking lad. But he's funny, mm. and he doesn't come across like I'm this Adonis. Do you know what I mean? It's just like one of the lads, it's... and um, he doesn't have the potential to see that he could be a model. Do you know what I mean? But it is, it's just a nice person. I think it's lovely. And he's dead like a little earth angel. Do you know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. So do you, think, do you think Do you think it'll be him and Jill at the end? I hope so. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe if that Matt Hancock... <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'll think you're alone, you. Chrissy. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. <laughs> thank you so much for your time chrissy much appreciated lovely to chat 